What's going on, everybody? This is Corey Ashley. What's good? This is Big Sean, a.k.a. Sean F. for RawGamePay.com. What's good? This is another episode over here of RawGamePay.com. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I've been away for a while. Of course, you guys know Big Sean over here. That's right. Y'all know me, Big Sean, a.k.a. Sean F. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's over here to, to accompany me with this review about Naughty Bear. Naughty Bear, that's right, for the Xbox 360. And the PS3. That, well, it's for the PS3, too? For the PS3. Okay, for the PS3, okay. For artificial, from Artificial Mind and Movement, that's the, that's the developer. That's, that's right. The publish, publisher of the 505 Games. Yes. All right, now, Sean... I know you have a lot more experience in that game than me. I have my own opinion on it, but I'm going to let Sean give a nice sugary version first. Okay, so let's start off with the story mode. Basically, this story is about this bear, this black bear. Well, he's not really black. He's brown. And I guess his friends had a birthday party, and then he didn't get invited. So basically, when he found that out, he started bugging out. He was like, you know what? F this, I'm about to kill niggas. So kind of like, <laughs> like Care Bear is going back. Yes, basically that's what it was about. And he started wilding out, started killing mad people, well, mad bears. Started wilding out. That's basically what the story is about. Yeah, pretty much in a nutshell. Because what you got to do now, since, you know, the teddy bears are nice, cuddly creatures that bring joy and yeah. pleasure to, like, you know, a lot of kids and stuff, bring smiles on everybody's faces. But this bear, Naughty Bear, hence the title, is about a Naughty Bear. Yeah. So pretty much what you got to do is just pretty much... And soon in a uh, uh, mindless I, violence and all type of assassinate, stuff. Assassinate other bears, you know, kill them, yeah. torture them. Yeah, you also rack up points, which, you know, by walking up and scaring them. Yeah, and let I me... I think you rack up bigger points by giving, like, a big scare. Yeah, let me let me get into that. Now, basically, you know, the game is basically you killing bears. And um, basically, like, the more, like, the different type of kills you do, the more points you get. And you could do all types of kills. You set a bear trap. Well, what's them traps that go on the floor? And if you walk in there, it hits your yeah, foot. Yeah, that's yeah the, bear the bear trap. traps. Um, you could go in the closet, hide in there. And when they come in the room, you can scare them like ah. You can scare them like that. Yeah. You get points for that. Um, you could just go up to them and just like slash them up with a uh, bat or a machete or a sword or what you want to call it, right. and you know kill them. And like, you could also like beat them up yeah. and let them like let them get hurt. So then when they walk around. If, if other people see them, they can, they can be like, hey, what's going on? Why this bill so hurt? And right, then, right. you know, you get points for that, too. Right. So it's basically like different kills. Right. You get points. Also different for like, points. More like a scare factor. You have to really build up not so much the combat thing. Um, that's another thing. But you have to get points for, like, doing, like, a scare factor and calling the mayhem all together. Exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, but and, uh, and you beat beers up. But it's like the combat system is really simple. Button that is one button to really beat people up and you want to do a hard uh, uh, attack, you just got to hold the button down. Basically. It's really simple, you know, but in my opinion, the game is brand new, 60 bucks. Um, uh, it's not a 60 bucks game. game. is not worth 60 bucks. Now, wh well, now, what I could tell you about this game is like, this game is like one type of game, it's like, if you had like a bad day, you know, if you had like a sad day, if you want to play something to like forget about what happened during that day, you could just put in that game and just play it and then you... Cause basically this game is funny to me. It's it's a funny game. It's uh, funny. Yeah, yeah. Cause when I was playing yeah. it, I was dying. Well, you know, when you come in the level, they be like, it's naughty, it's naughty time. You just start a wild right. out. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You have you have that crazy <laughs> sounding uh, uh, narrator, the announcer. He he sounds bugged out. You know, it's like sounding like one of those, those old school eight, 1980 uh, or 1990 kids. Uh, Toy commercial guys. Yeah, he he just sounds way bugged out. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Like o overall, this this game is like, if they may have had it like on a on a download for the PS3 or for 360. Yeah. I don't even know if I even buy it for like five bucks that much. Because I think this game should be a DLC, like an arcade game. To yeah, be honest with you. Yeah, you know because the way I see it, it's like. The the content really isn't there for me. <laughs> it's like, okay, everybody understands, okay, everybody wants, you know, wild violence and always want to wow people. But, you know, after a while, you come out with these games, you know, I don't care how you sugarcoat it, this case being teddy bears, it could be, you know, different other games. It's just like, after a while, this, this whole violence factor just gets kind of played out, yeah. and burnt out, you know? It's yeah. like, you guys could have actually came with something a lot better and harder if you're going to sit and develop a game, yeah. and then want to charge $60 for the game, for something like this. This is really, honestly, I mean... It's not, it, like I said, it should be like an arcade game, because you know, usually arcade games, like your PlayStation 3s and Xbox 360s, the arcade games usually cost like 500 points. 
that's like what five dollars, you yeah, know, yeah, two hundred well, yeah, points, yeah, you know. Yeah. Right, you know. But to me, honestly, it's like this game, you know, just isn't worth it because it, it's like they milk, they milk the hell out of this whole the violence thing. Yeah, you know, there's yeah. no real, real blood and guts because it's, like, it's really like you beat the stuffing out of them. So it's yeah, no, like real this moment where it's blood and all over the place. So, yeah, I mean that just you know calms it down a bit. But at the same time, you know, I will play the game. I'll probably play it for like about two minutes, and then pretty much the whole. Development team, all the time they spent, the money they spent just went down the drain. Because yeah. you can't have a game like this, you know, for $60 and want people to really take your name seriously. So so artificial mind and movement, they could have came better. Way better. Way, way better with, with a lot of things because, in my opinion, no, I honestly did not enjoy, and, and enjoy one thing, the whole concept behind this game. And one thing, this game is not for kids. So if you think of bear, don't think of being the pool bear. It's a mean bear that likes to kill people, that likes to cut people head off, arms off, you know, yeah, assassinate yeah, people. So it's crazy. This game is not for kids. Yeah, yeah, you know, because I'm like, uh, you know, and when games like this really doesn't bite over well for the gaming community because you got these people who are gunning for the gaming people talking about mindless violence. And, like, you know, yes, it's not games that kill people. It's people, you know, that don't know how to control themselves. But, you know, you can't have games like this all over the place, man. Yeah, you, you can't. Know, and it's just, you know, it's just, just, there's nothing to it. There's nothing to the game. There's no plot to it, really. There's no real open endings. And the game also has multiplayer. Yeah, which, it got like, multiplayer. Which, like, but the combat system isn't, like, you know, as, I could say, quote, unquote, rewarding as a single player because, when you want to get ahead and have, you know, you have different modes and stuff like um, cake walking. So you got to walk around with the cake and all that yeah. stuff and not make it fall or whatever. Yeah. Okay, but the comment system, you would think you would, you know, try your best to have a good comment system like the single player does. But it doesn't have the same thing. And actually, most of players, it's like more like button mashing your, yeah. your button mash each you, other. What you do and, is, and, yeah, yeah you, what it, you do is like when you go into a bear, you could hit X to actually hit them. Right. And they got this thing called like... Um, Finish it like a fatality type. Like right, you right, press right. the RT right. and like the right trigger, and right. you do like a finishing move to finish them right, off. Right, exactly. You know, so it's like that. And also have like this thing called the ultimate kill. Like when you beat up the bear, mm -hmm. and if the bear's like limping, you could actually go behind them and then do like an ultimate kill, just just kill them straight like that. Right. Yeah. But you see, in multiplayer, it's like you mash until whoever gets the thing first. Yeah. You know, to get the prompt first to do the, the kill. So it's no real. You know, it's mindless. Like I said, for 60 bucks, don't, you know, mm. I wouldn't waste my time with it. And, you know, if they gave to me for free, I will probably will probably look at it and probably <laughs> it will probably hold up my drink or something, to be honest, man. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, pretty much, you know, we're, we're getting close to the end of the segment. Um, you know. As a, ben, as a buy it, mental, forget it. Uh -huh. I already know you as a forget about it, right? Um, yeah, I'll definitely do a forget uh, about it. Um, as for me, um, well. Let's see. Buy it until forget it. I, don't buy this game. Don't buy it. Rent it. Uh, that's like a no no. If no, just forget it. <laughs> just forget. Forget the game. You know, if you get the game for free, just throw it out the window. Between you didn't see it. You know, just forget about the game. The game is not. It's not. Not that good. Yeah, you know. So you know, we have a couple more minutes here. You know, even though we probably should do another whole related link to it for you two people. You know, you know, before me and Mike did a little segment about the new Xbox Slim out there. It's not um, the Slim, right? No, nah, it's a P PlayStation. 3. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know. So it's like a lot of hate mail because it's saying we're PS3 bashes. Well, we're in the word Xbox 360 bashes. That's not really the case. Well, we are, but because we're very justified in doing so. Mm -hmm. Now, if we probably had raw gameplay back when PS2 was popping, best believe we've been bashing the ps2 that's right Why? because the first xbox the original xbox came through that came with a 10 gig hard drive and it came with the with the um the ethernet card yep. built in yep now the ps2 when it was on and popping you had to buy it separately the ethernet ad um adapter and you had to buy the hard drive um separately you know yep so those dudes would have never did it if xbox came out with their console at the time so yes of course i love xbox i was one of the first people to have xbox and put mad people onto the first xbox ps2 i was a ps2 hater because back then they were doing exactly what microsoft is doing now so right now ps3 they learned their lesson from the ps2 you know what i'm saying so that's why we give props to the ps the ps3 right now because sony learned from their mistakes xbox you see they're repeating the same thing sony is right now there's no real you know um um excuse for it you know what but you know just to let just to cap that off we're gonna do another segment right now we're gonna wrap things up this is Corey ashley aka need supreme and this is big sean aka sean f of raw gameplay.com y'all niggas know me out there hit me up my game my game attack is tampa bay 2005 hit me up let me know what's good son <laughs> and we gonna see y'all later man that's right later <laughs> peace <laughs>